Thanks for joining us. In this video, we are going to demonstrate the proper procedure for removing UBY wire mesh strainers for cleaning or replacing. We'll begin our procedure by isolating and draining the UBY strainer valve completely. Once the valve is open to atmosphere and it's a safe handling temperature of 100 degrees Fahrenheit or less, we will want to begin the internal strainer removal process. There are two ways of approaching this depending on the tools that you have available. One, you can remove the strainer cap with the drain valve still attached, or two, removing the drain valve and then removing the strainer cap. We will want to make sure that if we remove the strainer cap with the drain valve still attached, that we are sure we have enough clearance to do so without damaging the drain valve. We will want to make sure that we are holding back on the UBY valve body as we turn our wrench counterclockwise. Once we have removed the strainer cap, we will pull the wire mesh strainer out of the valve body and inspect it. After cleaning or replacing this wire mesh strainer, we will want to make sure that the Teflon gasket is not damaged. We will then insert the wire mesh strainer back into the cap and insert it back into the valve body. Bell & Gossett has determined the proper torque values for each of our valves. Please refer to the column that applies to the valve size to determine proper torque. In this case, we want to tighten the strainer cap to 25 foot-pounds. If the drain valve was removed, take a quarter inch wire brush and clean the outside threads of the drain valve and the strainer cap's internal threads. After the threads have been cleaned, apply Loctite 567 or other approved sealant, making sure to work the sealant into the male threads of the drain valve using the sealant's applicator, and then apply the proper torque. Wipe off any excess sealant. Now we're ready to open our valve and bring it back into service. Thanks again for joining us, and as always, for more technical information, please visit our website at www.balancevalves.com.